Hello there, this is Daniela from Two Chefs, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Reallusion characters with Atoms Unreal. So as you can see here, I'm in Character Creator, and I've already created a character. Uh, I've started from the default project, so the woman, and I've added some shoes, clothes, and hair. I've also converted this character into um, game base. Uh, if you want to use uh, uh, the single material when you uh, convert to game base, just make sure that uh, uh, you have, you're exporting the eyelash material in a separate material, just because uh, it's, it, will, it will look nicer in a, in, um, in a real engine. Uh, after you have, you're done with your character, you can just do, uh, um, basically you can just go under the X, FBX exporter and export uh, the, F, uh, the character in FBX using the real preset. So basically the workflow uh, that you use usually for uh, exporting uh, characters from um, uh, character creator to Unreal doesn't really change. Um, uh, one, one thing that you uh, could do though is uh, uh, you could also use the, a character in T-Pose. Uh, if you have a character in T-Pose, just make sure that uh, the embed motion is uh, uh, unchecked. And this is because uh, uh, we also support with Atoms Unreal character in T-Poses just to um, to basically for compatibility with other applications. But anyway, if you if you just want to use this character in Unreal, um, you can just leave that option uh, um, checked and just export the character as is. Uh, I've already exported this FPX uh, and I've also imported that into Unreal. One other thing that I've done in, uh, in iClone, I use the same character to um, you know make a motion that we're gonna use later. Uh, and also I've created some variations from a character creator and I've exported those in FBX and I've imported those in Unreal as well. And here we are in Unreal. So as you can see here, uh, I've already imported my FBXs, um, but I've imported them with the standard Unreal FBX importer. You could also use the, the options for the character creator out of, out of setup import uh, tool. Uh, but unfortunately, with that tool, um, basically, basically the materials that are created are uh, quite heavy. Um, so it's, if, it will work okay if you have a very high-end uh, video card. So at the moment, I'm just running an RTX uh, 2080, so I don't have uh, one of the latest uh, um, uh, RTX video cards. Um, and also, if you want, uh, even if you had my video cards, uh, even if you, uh, if you had like a low number of agents, you could also use uh, um, the high-quality materials that uh, the in, um, character creator importer tool uh, uh, creates. But just for this case, just because I wanted to create quite a few agents, I'm just gonna use the, the standard uh, materials that are imported uh, from the FBX importer uh, uh, by Unreal. And I've also changed the, um, you know, slightly some of the materials just so that they look nicer in, in Unreal. So once you're done and have, you've imported uh, some animation, um, some variation meshes and also uh, the you know the, the the skeleton and the and the skeleton and the skin uh, mesh that you want to use in uh, in Unreal with uh, with atoms. Uh, you can select your skeleton and you can go under atoms crowd and then assets and then you can see here we have a new Reallusion sub menu and from here you can select uh, one of these options. So uh, as you can see here we we support uh, uh, the A pose from Unreal, the A pose when you have uh, converted to game base. The T pose, as I was saying earlier, and also the T um, pose when you're converting in game base. In this case, um, you have I'm gonna select the A game pose, and this is because, of course, uh, uh, because of what I've done already in Character Creator. So you you have to be careful to whatever you select here. Um, then you can select a destination folder. I'm gonna use the same folder where the skeleton is um, is located, and as you can see here, we have now some new assets. So we have. Uh, this variation asset, so the variation asset, the agent type asset, and the characterization asset. So the characterization asset is basically uh, what is created uh, um, so that basically you can reuse uh, um, some animations that are, uh, are coming from our agent bundle or anyway, animations that is uh, coming from another agent type that uh, um, has, is, has been characterized. Um, uh, so th this basically is covered in, in another video, so the animation uh, retargeting video that you can find uh, on our YouTube channel. Um, and basically when I've run this uh, um, action here in the menu, uh, these have uh, basically added uh, this um, uh, Atom Skeleton user data to the skeleton and it has uh, um, as uh, assigned this filter, so Reillusion A game. If you selected anything else here, uh, so one of these other options here, the filter would uh, would be different. Uh, okay, so basically now I saved, 
And uh, uh, let's have a look uh, again, just quickly to the um, agent type here. If you want to use one of the state machines from uh, our agent bundle, you can uh, select it here. I don't have any here at the moment, so I won't select anything. Um, and here, as you can see, we have the characterization. So already set up and the characterization is this one, which is basically created by default. Uh, and it's created, uh, of course, again, by from the selection that you have done here in the menu. Okay, so now what we can do is uh, we can go in the animation clips just a second so we can set it up. Um, so here what we want to do is we want to assign the animation clip user data. We want to give it a name. So I'm going to call it dance. I'm going to leave the, um, the loop end to what it is already. Uh, just going to set the uh, compatible agent type here to be the woman. And that's it, really. Uh, I'm not gonna set it to loopable just because the um, end pose is not is not the same as the start pose. Uh, I mean, they're pretty similar, but anyway, just this clip is not gonna be loopable. So now I saved it, uh, and what I want, what I can do now is I can go in my agent group. I've already set up one quickly with a grid layout and a clip reader. I can create uh, some women. So here we have uh, our characters and I can assign the uh, dance motion. Let me just uh, move this down. That, so now they are uh, on that plane. Uh, but as you can see here, all the agents are like playing, uh, they're playing the same animation, but they're not really in sync. So what we want to do here is we want to go on the uh, clip reader and I'm gonna set the start range to zero. And if I press play now, you'll see that they're all playing the same animation at the same time, which is good if you want to have them all in sync, but maybe it's not the best thing. Like we want to have some uh, vary some uh, randomness in, in that motion. So also another thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that uh, uh, the spacing is not completely uniform. So let me just, uh, maybe it is too much, let's say 10. And let's say 20, something like that. So they're still in a grid, but there's a little bit of uh, randomness. Uh, so in the clip reader, uh, what I'm going to do is I want to uh, set the start frame to be different from uh, all the, my agents. So let me do something like uh, maybe 0 and 200. And you see they've changed slightly the posi their, uh, their initial uh, frame. Something like that, maybe. Let's see, we press play. So they're now not all completely in sync, but they're playing the animation. And again, because it's not a loopable clip, they're just stopping at the end frame. All right, let's play it again just quickly. And here we have 400 characters. Okay, so anyway, uh, the workflow is pretty simple. Uh, if you want, if you don't want to use, uh, if you want just to use uh, animations coming from uh, iClone and uh, agents coming from a uh, character creator. Um, you can just, uh, you know, uh, sorry, assets coming from character creator. You can even use the, um, the create an agent type, uh, which basically will do, will do the same. The only thing that we won't get, it will be the characterization and uh, um, the filter on the skeleton. So anyway, this is just Nice to have also because the when with, with that filter on the skeleton that will also set up automatically the feet and the pelvis, so you don't have to do uh, that manually. And now basically what I want to do is I want to add some variations here. So I have created um, two more um, variations for that uh, for the woman in uh, character creator. And what I can do now is I can select the skeletal meshes. I can go and say create a variation per skeletal mesh. I'm gonna create them here. Um, so basically this one creates a variation asset per skeletal mesh. Uh, if you were gonna uh, select the create a variation, basically we'll create a uh, one single variation with both skeletal meshes in it. So we really didn't want that uh, for now. So what I want to do now is I want to select both the variation assets. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna say create variations. Uh, the, my agent type is the woman that I've uh, created earlier. Uh, this one is basically a field that uh, uh, if you select a variations asset here, uh, the variations will be added to this variations asset. Uh, this is not our case because we don't have variations assets yet in the scene. Uh, so I'm going to click OK. 
that's great. So now if I go here, you see we have for the woman, we have these two variations. Uh, what I want to do is also I want to add the variation that we have for the default uh, uh, agent type. Uh, so I'm gonna do create variations again uh, for the woman, and I'm gonna select the variations asset so that we basically just add it to the to the to that uh, same um, asset. So we have it. We should have it here. Yeah, it's there. So I'm gonna save this asset and I'm gonna assign it to my agent group. Like this. And now uh, what I can do is I can uh, select the, uh, so this uh, the, the view mode is gonna be variations. I'm gonna go under tools, variation randomizer. I'm gonna select them all, randomize. And as you can see, we have different variations. So these are basically the three variations. So we have uh, these two women and the other one with the jacket. So if I press play now, we also have some variation. And of course you can have, you know, any number of variation for uh, for your uh, uh, for uh, your agent type. Um, just make sure though that uh, uh, these skeleton meshes, they have uh, the same skeleton. So it doesn't mean that to have the same skeleton asset in Arial, but they have, the skeleton is basically has the same proportion, same joint names and so on. So anyway, if you if you work for on the same project in uh, Character Creator, and then you just add meshes, uh, so like uh, add uh, uh, a different jacket, uh, clothes, uh, shoes and so on, you can just export those FBXs and then import them in Arial, and basically this is what you will get. So that's what I've done. Okay, so now we have the variations. Uh, and one last thing, so uh, before I told you that uh, we have, uh, um, for the, whenever we use the Reallusion, one of these uh, um, menus for um, um, what our agent type, this creates also the characterization. So until now we haven't used the characterization because the, the clip that was, uh, uh, was basically done for this specific skeleton. But what we can do now is we could uh, use the, the clip for, uh, uh, so I'm gonna remove the override. I'm gonna use the clip for that I've done for the, one of the clips that I've done for the man. So for instance, I could want to use the man applause, stand applause. And we just bring the uh, rigid group a bit higher like that. And if I press play now, basically they are uploading. So basically, but the, the clip is being retargeted from the um, uh, from the main clip on the, onto this skeleton and also on to, onto this agent. So as you can see, this clip is also loopable, so you can you can have uh, uh, you know you can use our clip. So this is great because you can use real illusion characters, for instance, with our stadium clips. If you want to populate your stadium, so you, you you're not um, bound anymore to uh, using just the, our assets, but you can also use uh, uh, different. Uh, um, characters coming from uh, other softwares like uh, Relusion Character Creator with our uh, animations. And this is all for this video. Thanks for watching.